Hello everyone. You are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation. x plus 4 times x plus 5 times x plus 6 times x plus 7 divided by x minus 4 times x minus 5 times x minus 6 times x minus 7 is equal to 1. Our job is to find all possible values of x. So let's start. Since this 4 plus 7 4 plus 7 is equal to 11 and this 5 plus 6 5 plus 6 is equal to 11 so we combine these two terms x plus 4 and x plus 7 and we combine these two terms x plus 5 and x plus 6 so this will become x plus 4 times x plus 7 times x plus 5 times x plus 6 divided by and in the denominator we combine this x minus 4 with x minus 7 and we combine this x minus 5 with x minus 6 so this will become x minus 4 times x minus 7 times x minus 5 times x minus 6 is equal to 1. Now we expand these two terms so x times x will become x squared x times 7 plus 7 times x and 4 times x plus 4 times x and 4 times 7 plus 28 times we expand these two terms x times x will become x squared x times 6 plus 6x and 5 times x plus 5x 5 times 6 will become plus 30 divided by we expand these two terms x minus 4 times x minus 7 so x times x will become x squared x times negative 7 negative 7x and uh, negative 4 times x uh, negative 4x negative 4 times negative 7 will become plus 28 times this x times x will become x squared and x times negative 6 negative 6x negative 5 times x is negative 5x negative 5 times negative 6 will become plus 30 is equal to 1 next x squared plus 7x plus 4x will become 11 times x plus 28 times x squared 6x plus 5x will become plus 11 times x plus 30 divided by x squared negative 7x minus 4x will become negative 11x plus 28 times x squared negative 6x minus 5x will become negative 11x plus 30 is equal to 1 next x squared plus 11 times x plus 28 times x squared plus 11 times x this 30 can be written as plus 28 plus 2 divided by x squared minus 11 times x plus 28 times x squared minus 11 times x this 30 can be written as plus 28 plus 2 is equal to 1 now we suppose that this x squared plus 11x plus 28 is equal to a 
In this uh, x squared minus 11x plus 28 is equal to b. Let x squared plus uh, 11 times x plus uh, 28 is equal to a and uh, x squared minus 11x plus uh, 28 is equal to b. So, this equation will become a times a plus 2 divided by b times b plus 2 is equal to 1 and this implies that a times a plus 2 is equal to b times b plus 2. Now, this a times a will become a squared and a times 2 a will become plus 2 a is equal to b times b will become b squared and b times 2 will become plus 2 b. Now, we move with these two terms of b squared and plus 2 b to the left hand side. So, this will become a squared. This plus b squared will become negative b squared plus this 2 times a 2 a. This plus 2 b will become negative 2 b at left hand side is equal to 0. Now, by using this algebraic identity a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. This a squared minus b squared will become a plus b times a minus b and from these two terms 2a minus 2b we can factor out 2 plus 2 as common factor in back left a minus b is equal to 0 and you can see that this expression a minus b is a common factor. So, we factor out this a minus b and in back left this a plus b and this plus 2 in back left a plus b plus 2 is equal to 0. And from here either this expression a minus b is equal to 0 or this expression a plus b plus 2 is equal to 0. Now, recall that we have supposed we have supposed that uh, x squared plus 11x plus 28 is equal to a and x squared minus 11x plus 28 is equal to b. We have supposed that uh, a is equal to x squared plus uh, 11 times x plus 28 and b is equal to x squared minus 11 times x plus 28. So, this equation will become value of a is x squared plus 11 times x plus 28 minus value of b is x squared minus 11 times x plus 28 is equal to 0. Now, we remove this bracket. So, this will become x squared plus 11 times x plus 28 minus x squared plus 11 times x minus 28 is equal to 0. Now, this negative 28 will be cancelled out with this positive 28 and this negative x squared will be cancelled out with this positive x squared and this 11 x plus 11 x will become 22 times x is equal to 0 and if we divide both sides by 22 this implies that uh, x is equal to 0. This is the first value of x this is the first solution of uh, this equation. Now, in this equation we replace this a with this value and we replace this b with this value. So, this equation will become in place of a we write uh, x squared plus 11 times x plus 28 
plus in place of b we write this value x squared minus 11 times x plus 28 plus this 2 is equal to 0. Now, this negative 11 x will be considered out with this positive 11 x and this x squared plus this x squared will become 2 times x squared and this 28 plus 28 56 plus 2 will become plus 58 is equal to 0 and we divide this equation by 2. So, this will become x squared plus 29 is equal to 0. Move this 29 to the right hand side. So, this will become x squared is equal to negative 29. We take square root of both sides. So, this square will be considered with this square root and at left hand side we are left with x is equal to plus or minus square root of negative 29 x x is equal to plus or minus this square root of negative 29 can be written as a square root of negative 1 times square root of 29 and this square root of negative 1 square root of negative 1 is equal to i. So, this will become x is equal to plus minus i times root 29. From here we get two values of x, x 2 is equal to i times root 29 and x 3 is equal to negative i times root 29. And first we found the value of x 1 is equal to this 0. First we found the value of x 1 0. So, we have three solutions of this equation 0 i times root 29 and negative i times root 29.